Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to our very first time together, Morning Glory and Movement. I told you all last night I was finally saying yes and stepping out and doing what God told me to do. And God's been telling me for two weeks now he wanted me to stand before you and to lead you in morning glory and worship. So get up right where you are in your bed. Uh, you don't need a very large space. What you need is you need to be comfortable and you need to be ready to worship. And uh, I'm so excited about this. So excited about it. So excited. Here we go. Ooh, Jesus. Yes, God. God, we worship you today, God. Hallelujah. We worship you today, God. You're going to stand straight. Up. Two. Three. Four. Down. Six. Seven. Eight. Take your head around. Two. Three. Four. A nice stretch for the morning. Can you help us say that? Up, two, and bring your head up, hands come down. Seven, eight, bring it your round. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, take it up. Two, three, four, down. Six, seven, eight, head around. Here we go. Take it up. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Yes, God. He is Lord over every circumstance. Give that neck a nice stretch. Here we go. You're going to take it up and out. And out. And out. Come up. Over. Bring it up. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are. Very good. And up. Up. And bend. Over. Out. Over. Out. Bring it up. Back to the beginning. You know what this looks like. Up. Two. Three. Four. Bring it down. Six. Seven. Eight. Take your head around the other direction. Yes. He is Lord today, friends. Take it up. Up. Two. Three. Four. One down. Six. Seven. Eight. Head around. Give that a nice stretch for your neck. One more time. Jesus. Down. Over. Out. Bring it up. Jesus is Lord today, y'all. Jesus, bring it down. Over. Out. Over. Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are. And out. Plie. And out. Plie. Jesus, you are. Over. Plie. Plie. Woo. Bring the hands up. Two, three, four, step to the side. Six, seven, eight, feel that stretch there. Two, three, four, bring it up. Six, seven, eight, over. The Bible says that at the mention of his name, every knee is going to bow. If you can't take that stretch a little bit deeper, bring it up. Two, three, four, hands together. Six, Seven, eight, step out, over. Two, you're gonna give that a little uh, bend over, bring it around. Bring it around, come back, standing straight. Here we go, left hand. This is actually a little like your right. Bring it over, bend. Two, three, four. Ooh, that feels good. Six, seven, eight. Keep your hands out. Bring it over, bring it over, and go over, six, seven, eight, pick it up, two, three, four. Something happens at the name of Jesus, don't you love that? We're going to do it to the other side, bend over, yes, bring it up, 
Bring the hand over. Two, three, four, and up. Six, seven, eight. Your right hand is going to go over. Two, three, four. Bring it down. Five, six, seven. You are. Bring it down. He's pulling down every stronghold in your life. Don't you love that? Jesus, you are forward. Bend forward. Send that back. Jesus, bring it up. Five, six, seven, eight. Come up. Jesus, come down in the plie. Bend at your waist. Bring the arms forward. Up. Two, three, four, step back, lean back, seven, eight, come up, two, three, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, no matter what's going on, you're going to switch your feet, lean back, one, two, three, four, up, six, seven, eight, pull down those strongholds in your life right now, yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, God. Hallelujah. We bless you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for being the Son of God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for bringing down strongholds in our life, God, today. In the name of Jesus, God, we bless you on today. Lord, Philippians 2 and 11 tells us that at the very mention of your name, every knee is going to bow. Everything bows to heaven. Everything, everything on earth must bow to heaven. Hallelujah. And you tell us in Philippians 2, 10 and 11 that every tongue has to confess the name of Jesus. That means that whatever you are dealing with in your life right now, if you speak the name of Jesus, that is one of your weapons of warfare. First Corinthians 2, First Corinthians 1 and 27 lets us know that God chooses the foolish things of the world to put shame to the wise things. And he chooses the weak things of the world to put shame to the strong things. So I don't know what it is that you're dealing with right now, but I know that God has been dealing with me all week long about conquering my fear and stepping out and doing what he told me to do. So if God has been doing the same thing for you, I, I'm, I really believe that if you're connected to this live at this moment, whether it's live or during a replay, that as you are in the middle of your worship, that you are proclaiming that he's Lord. And because you're proclaiming he's Lord, I'm telling you to step out of the boat, do what God told you to do. That is what I'm telling you to do right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever stronghold is in your life, whatever is stopping you from doing what God has called you to do, you know that it has to bow at the name of Jesus. So I hope that you enjoyed today's movement, morning glory and movement, and what you can do to cool down because it was just about a lot of stretching, right? So I just want you to take a deep breath in and let it out at the mention of his name. Every time you take a deep breath in, I want you to think about the fact that God is breathing life in your situation and let it out. I want you to lift your hands because you know that he is Lord over every situation. Hallelujah. Lift your face up to God because you know that he is sovereign. Hallelujah. God, we thank you today. God, we thank you today. Bring your hands down. This is just the cool down because if you're anything like me, you actually worked up a little bit of a sweat. Bring your head up. He is Lord today, friends. He's Lord today. Jesus, you are Lord. Yes, God, you're Lord over every circumstance. God, I thank you so much for this moment to just be with you. Lord, we thank you so much for the moment to be able to bask in your presence, God. Lord, I pray today that as everybody wakes up and as, before their feet even strike Zion, God, that you begin to do a new thing in all of our lives, God. Lord, I'm asking you that you begin to rejuvenate us, God. Lord, you've been speaking about restoration for weeks, God. And so, God, those of us that have some dead things in our lives, God, I'm asking you that you pull those things away, that you rip those things away, God, and that you begin to bring restoration and you bring rejuvenation and you 
renew those things in our lives that must be must be called forward. Lord, we're ready to go. God, whatever the assignment is that you put on our life, God, we're ready to walk in the fullness of that. Father, we are ready to go forward in the fullness of our purpose. Lord, we're doing it afraid, God, in the name of Jesus. The things that you're telling us to do may sound foolish to many because some of us don't feel qualified, God. And some of us feel qualified, and even though we know that we're anointed, Father, we're still scared to move forward because the way that you're making us move, it feels different. It looks different. It smells different. But God, we understand that when we go to the next level, when we walk out of this old thing, when we lay aside every single weight, God, we know that there is another level. There's a higher height. There is a deeper depth, depth that comes just from being with you. So God, we thank you for our level next. God. Lord, we thank you for sifting away the old things, God. Lord, we thank you for pulling away toxic people out of our life, God. Lord, we thank you for being the Lord of Lords, God. And while everybody in the country right now is feeling afraid and they're feeling like they're, they have no control, God, we know that you have all of the control. We know you have all the control. We know that you hold us in the depths of your hands, God. And one of the things that we know that we have that other people don't understand is that we are king's kids. And we understand that we are a royal priesthood. And so, God, we thank you for being royalty. Lord, we thank you that you call us to be royalty. We thank you that you said we are worth it to be royalty. And, Lord, we give every, every, every trick that the enemy has has tried to bring to us, God. We we cast it down right now. We lay it at your feet in the name of Jesus. We lay it at your feet, God, at the name of Jesus. Lord, all of our hopes and our dreams, they're not gone, God. We know that they're not gone, but we know that you're calling us to lean into the shift and to move differently. So, God, I'm asking you that you give us divine strategy, God. Lord, we woke up, God, and we chose to worship you, God. And so, Lord, I'm asking you that you honor our prayer, that you honor our worship. Let it be a sweet savor to your nostrils. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Listen, thank you guys so much for being here with me with Morning Glory and Movement. Uh, I, I was so scared to do this, you know, and I've been I've been teaching dance. I literally dance six hours a day and, and I was afraid. But God is calling us to move different. Um, people need us to move different in the earth. And so whatever it is that you've been dealing with, even if you didn't have an opportunity to do the movement with me um, this morning, rewind this back <laughs> and do it. If you really want to feel a, a good workout, you can start it all over again because that workout, um, it, it's about six minutes. And so it should give you a really nice stretch. And honestly, if you're really giving it everything that you've got, and even if you want to just dance, you know, spontaneously and you just want to go into your worship, then just go ahead and do that. Right. So this was called Mention and um, it's by Fresh Worship. It's by Fresh Worship. Beautiful song. Let them know that you heard about them from me. I don't get anything from it. It's just cool to let them know that their song was used. I love you guys. If you like this, let me know that you like it. And um, this is something that we'll, we'll start doing every single day. And my plan, of course, is to, I'm starting to, starting everybody off slowly. So we're going to start off with worship. Um, and of course, we'll, we'll move from worship into um, a little bit more praise um, as well. So you will be getting really great workouts. And my um, whole vision is that our workouts are going to be about 15 to 20 minutes. Because believe it or not, great things can happen in your body, in your mind, in your spirit, in a little bit of time. So again, share this with, with everybody. Let them know that there is now morning glory and movement that is taking place. Um, and so it's going to be happening at 615. My Lord. Yes. 615. I've been sleeping in, but it's going to be happening at 615 every day. I love you guys. Let me know what you thought. You guys have a good one.